Hey guys, hope your day is going well. I'm uh, just gonna remind you, of course, every video I'm gonna make, I'm probably gonna put a reminder. Uh, please vote for me to, uh, in the Who Inspires You contest. It's very easy, super, super fast. Just vote Carolyn, that's it. Um, but I wanted to do this video, you know, do my favorites, and I have a bit of a haul. I just have like a fat haul. Well, not really a fashion haul because it's not exactly fashion, it's just athletic wear, but I do have one fashion item, so I wanted to show you the, the app because that was like really exciting for me. So the fashion item are uh, some shoes, some high heels, and um, they look like this. So they have gold detailing, and as you can tell, they are a tanned color. Oh, this, I put like a sticky thing on the bottom to make it not, um, what is it, slide, and it's got like hair stuck to it. Anyways, uh, I got these from Winners, and they are by Michael Kors. And so I was like super stoked to see it, like them there, because they're, they're so unique with the straps and then the gold that you can move. And also with the gold, um, what is the zipper in the back. Um, these I got for relative, well, depends on what you would call cheap for shoes. Um, these were 89 bucks when regular price, or well, for winners, I think they were 120. And they are comparable at 275 bucks. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. I wore them out on my birthday, and they weren't deadly when it comes to like you know how my feet were feeling. But um yeah no these are just like the type of shoes that I'll be able to wear for as long as they last sort of thing because they I don't I think they're just a really unique sort of style. Next is some stuff from Old Navy. So like I said it was. Just, they were having a 30% off sale, so off everything, and I really needed some new exercise clothes because I've, I've just purchased a three month pass to the gym, so, but I'm not actually going to the gym, I'm just doing fitness classes that they offer at my local gym area, so doing that, but I needed some new stuff. I didn't want to go to Lululemon because it's just like so expensive, and I feel like other places offer just as good stuff, and I have other things that are like relatively the same, and my Lululemon stuff that I do have is just like going to shit right now, so um, I thought I'd just buy something cheaper. So the first thing I have here is a, like a shirt that you can wear with, um, what is it, so it's one of their active, obviously one of their active ones, and this is like their always moving one, so it's a go dry, so it's a moisture wickening, and it's very stretchable. Um, so it looks like this. It's kind of got like different sort of scrunching right here. I just wanted it so I could put like, you know, on top of my sports bra or whatever. Just put it on top and have something thin to use for workout. And this was on sale, I believe, for $10 and then I got like 30% off. So it was only $7. Next are two uh, Capri items. This is nothing exciting. Kind of looks a little bit boring. Um, these ones are just ones like if I'm not doing a too intense of a class, uh, I will use this one because it's a little bit thicker but also thin at the same time. And this is just their straight leg capri. Of course I got like, you know, a size large because I was like, oh, I don't want to be squishing out. And this is also their always moving one. And um, yeah, these were $22.94 and then with the deal they were $16. And lastly is their fitted capris, so they're a little bit thinner. I mean, yeah, a little bit thinner. They come with a pocket in the back, so that's nice when you're doing, you know, I'm gonna put something in there. Um, this is their always moving one as well, but they're more thin. So they uh, have a thinner leg, and I just wanted this for, to switch it up because, you know, they're, they feel exactly the same as Lululemon. And um, these ones were either, I don't know, I think they were like 16 or 17 dollars. I can't tell the difference between the ones on the, on the, uh, what is it, receipt. Okay, so on with the um, items uh, that are my favorites this month. Uh, of course, Urban Decay Naked Palette, but in particular, two colors. I have really been enjoying using Virgin on the lid, so it's just a really, really light, sort of shimmery, but very wearable color. It's not too shimmery. And then I like using gunmetal inside the crease, but just using a really fluffy brush and kind of just blending it out. And I really, really like the way that looks. Um, I think I'm going to do... Uh, <laughs> 
I think I'm going to do a tutorial on that because I really, really enjoy it and I've been using it a lot. Of course, today I'm not wearing that, but that's just how it always works out when you're doing videos. Okay, next item is a essential item that I haven't really been using that much, but I will be starting up very soon. And this is the Neostrata Natural Insta Tan. And this is what the bottle looks like. I'm not sure if this is only available in Canada, but basically it's a self tanner and it comes out really tinted and you just obviously spread it all over, but it just works well, oh, available exclusively in Canada. So I'm not sure if it's available anywhere else, but um, it just gives me a really natural looking tan. Sometimes it can get a little bit streaky if I kind of apply it unevenly because it's kind of hard to tell exactly because the, the color kind of fades when you're rubbing it in. But um, yeah, I just, I might do a video on how I do this self tanner because I want like, you know, it's easier to show because I do other things other than just put this straight up on. So yeah, but I'm really, really loving that. And if you can get it on sale, then it's even better. Next is the Marcel BB Cream, and mine's in light to medium, and it comes with a pump that, you know, the container's a little bit disgusting looking. Um, and I really, really like this product. As you can see, like, it's getting kind of thin now, and um, I've been using it for a couple months, and I really like it. It matches my skin pretty good. It really, like, neutralizes the redness that I have, because um, I was trying out the, um, what is it? the Garnier one, and um, it really, that one's more pink toned, and this is more of a skin, like a, not skin toned, less pink toned, I would say, and more, yeah, just neutralizing, so I really like this, it doesn't stick to my flaky patches that I have, I guess sometimes on my face, um, it gives me some coverage, I mean, just a BB cream so to me it's like a tinted moisturizer but it does give me some coverage so I do really really recommend this I know that they're coming out with uh, SPF one this month so I'll probably be purchasing that or I'll be sticking with um, Annabelle because Annabelle is coming out with a BB cream as well sister companies probably the same damn product next is this Kiehl's item and it's the rare earth pore refining tonic uh, I've used it for a while now, as you can see, but a little goes a long way, so that's why I haven't, I've only hit there. Um, I really, really like this for reducing the size of my pores. It does not obviously take away your pores because you can never get rid of those, but it just makes the gunk inside of them not fill up as fast, I guess, if that makes sense, as disgusting as that sounds. Um, I really, really like this. It helps take away extra makeup that I, you know, tend to get lazy and forget to take off or not fully wash off. So I really, really like this. Um, in terms of the price, I am on the fence if it's like something I would totally recommend for everyone to buy. But if you do have problems with your pores, I would definitely recommend it because like my pores, especially on my nose, were like really just like every day would just be like filled with junk. And now it's like, oh yeah, they're there, but it's like covered by makeup a lot easier. So definitely recommend that product. And lastly, for my favorites, is this Revlon Lip Butter, and this one is in number 075 Lollipop. It's just a really, really bright color. I think this is the one that I was using um, in uh, the My Shop My Stash one, and I really, really like it. I have it on my lips right now. You probably can't even tell, but that's weird, because like you can tell the color on my hand, but when I put it to my lips, you can barely tell. But yeah, it's there. And um, I really, really like this one. It's moisturizing, it doesn't stick to any dry patches that I have on my lips. The other ones that I have, the two other ones, seem to do that. So I'm not really sure why this one's like so glossy, but I really, really like this one. And lastly, for a product that I actually don't like, is the, uh, Revlon, the Revlon Just Bitten Lip Stain and Balm. And this one is in the color Desire. And I haven't had it for very long, and it is just like, so sheer and I don't know why it's not showing up any like it's not coming out anymore or something but it's like when I do it more and more it creates a gap in between so like it's very uneven when it's going on my lips which I really hate obviously because I can get the outline of my lips and then like when I'm trying to fill it in it doesn't really do much so not too too crazy about it it kind of shows up as a red color on my on my lips rather than a pink so 
Not too big of a fan. I do like the moisturizing thing that they have on the side here, but the like, and I'll still use this if I decide that I need a lip stain, but this one I don't think I'll be repurchasing any of the other ones. And one random sort of favorite uh, is this Mayo Liquid Water Enhancer. It looks like this. Uh, I use it and it comes with a squeeze, squeeze top and this one is in the flavor Strawberry Watermelon. Um, I use it, you just squirt it into your water and it gives it a color, whatever flavor. And I like it because it helps me not drink pop. So like in the past two weeks, I've only had one can of Coke and that was when I was having pizza one time. And it just like, this is, this is coming from someone who would drink pop every two days. I would have a, a can of Coke or something. So this has really been helping. Um, I think it's, it's sweetened with sucralose and something else that I don't can't pronounce, but um, it's got zero calories and here yeah, I'll show you the thing, zero calories. And I think it's got like zero sugar because it's sweetened with artificial sweetener. So yeah, but I really, really like this and you can get it on sale at like Safeway or Shoppers. I got mine for $3 and um, yeah, I'm really, really enjoying it. So that concludes this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please do vote. And if you have any requests, comments, anything at all, let me know in the titty bar. No, in the comment section, I'll post information in the titty bar. And yeah, I hope that you guys have a good day and I will see you in my next video. Peace.